Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth. I am Sananda. My heart is always filled with joy every time I can be here, reuniting with all of you. I see myself on top of that mountain with all of you, sitting on the earth, listening to my words. The difference is that today my words don't hang in the wind. Today your minds and hearts are able to hear, assimilate and understand what I say. And what I have to say to you today, courage, you need to have courage. Each of you is walking by your own choice, a path that will lead you to the light, that will lead you to ascension into the fifth dimension, or at least you are intending to. Will this path always be full of flowers, pleasant, with a warm, gentle breeze, animals keeping you company? Unfortunately I would tell you no, this path in some moments, when you elevate, it becomes all that. When your hearts are happy, you are filled with joy, looking at the world around you with love, with patience, in this moment you are creating this path and you are walking along it. And with each image, each scene, it becomes more pleasant and the path becomes more and more beautiful and calmer. But there are those moments, when your surroundings shake you, when your surroundings knock on your door and you need to answer. And then, when you look at all that profusion of problems, your vibration drops, your thinking falls apart. Immediately, that path that was so flowery, so beautiful, becomes a path full of stones, arid, hot, uncomfortable. There is a big question, what to do? Ah, I'm just going to forget everything around me and focus on my path. Can you do this, will it be good for those around you? If you simply exempt yourself from all problems, focus on your beautiful and wonderful world and let everything be resolved, without you caring what it will be like, is this a good option? I would say in the minds of many, it would be. Because they are already tired, they are already. I would even say exhausted of everything that is around them. But unfortunately, I need to tell you that the path is not over yet, you are still building the path. So even if you isolate yourself, become hermits, meditate 24 hours a day, there will come a time when that path stops being flowery and somehow throws you out into the world again, because you haven't learned everything. So this is an illusion, moving away from problems, thinking that meditating all the time, isolating yourself, not wanting to get involved is the solution. Unfortunately, I will tell you that it is not. Because you will not be able to maintain this wonderful path for long, your journey is not over yet, your journey is still happening. So you simply need to live each point, live what your surroundings are showing you. So I tell you again that we are aware, that many are tired, the road has not been easy, it has been quite challenging. But what to say to these? Just trust that the time will come when all these challenges will end. And then yes, you will have all the time to live that path, illuminated, flowery, fragrant, full of light and joy. You will no longer need to look at what is around you, because your mission will have ended. You can even look at those around you, but nothing will shake you, nothing will take you off the path, because you will have learned all the lessons. So, when I said at the beginning of our conversation that you need to have courage, this is the sentiment, courage. Courage to continue overcoming each daily challenge, each moment that makes you suffer, often makes you anguish, not seeing a way out, not seeing a solution. And I tell you, the way out exists, the solution exists. And I remind you again that for these solutions and solutions to appear, you need to look at everything with love, with a lot of love. Then the solutions will come, as if by magic and you will start looking at that problem, that challenge from now on without getting involved with it. Because you have already understood it, you have already transformed it into love, so it no longer shakes you, it no longer affects you. Now the courage is to change, to change within yourself the way you look at each thing. It's not an easy step, it's not a simple step, but it takes courage to change, 
it takes courage to say to yourself, this doesn't belong to me. This isn't mine. So I deliver, maintain, return the energy to whoever sent it to me. This energy is his or hers, it is not mine. And return this energy with light, with a lot of light. The energy arrived at you, knocked on your door, you had to open it, it left your balance, from your flowery path to opening the door, to that energy. Then ask yourself the question, I need to interfere with this energy. Is there any action I need to take? If so, take your action with love and light. No, the energy does not depend on your action, it just knocked on your door, so you will look at it, fill it with light and return, this energy does not belong to me. I return with a lot of light to whoever sent me. Okay, this energy will not remain in you in this way, you will not feel anger, you will not feel upset for having been taken out of your path, for something that is not yours. And I can guarantee you that this happens 90% of the time. You are affected by energies that are not yours, that you did not create. But there is an interesting point to be made there, you did not create that energy, but you attracted it, because if it arrived at your door, if it knocked on your door, you called it in some way. You may not understand how or when, but you called her. So the time has come for you to learn how to return that energy to the owner. But with a lot of love and a lot of light, because otherwise, it will keep knocking on your door, until you look at it with love and with light. So I'm going to teach you a very funny image, many will say, when something bothers you from outside, see yourself opening a door and on the other side a child, smiling and naughty, laughing at your door. Why did she knock on your door? Because she was a child. What will you do? Will you slam the door in her face or will you simply laugh with her, finding what she did funny? And simply by finding what she did funny, you overturned any and all bad feelings you may have felt when someone knocked on the door. And that child will leave happy because you didn't fight with him, you thought what he did was funny, so he leaves, and that energy leaves with him. So don't forget to put together this little movie in your minds. Every time something comes to you and bothers you, look at it like a door, open this door and see the child and give him a beautiful smile, laugh with him about the situation. And you will see how, little by little, your brains will learn this path and everything that comes to you, that does not belong to you, that comes from around you, will no longer bother you. Because you will just laugh at everything and by doing so, you almost keep your path bright and flowery. It falls apart for a brief moment and then it forms again. But we cannot forget that there is a point where you need to act, you need to act, because it is something that is your responsibility. So in this case, there is no child behind the door, because it is your thing. So just take a deep breath. Fill your heart with light and ask your Divine Presence for the solution. And I guarantee you that it will come and in the same way, it will come enlightened and you will quickly be able to return to your path. It takes courage, my sons and daughters, to change your ways of thinking. It takes courage to believe that this is all possible and that you are capable of doing it all. I just say, try it, it doesn't cost anything. You didn't succeed the first time. Try the second, third, fourth, it doesn't matter, keep trying and I guarantee that one day, you will succeed.